Welcome back to LearnPianoLive.com. My name is Jamin, and as you can tell from the countdown clock, the lesson is about to get started. In case you're new with this, there's a few things I'd like to show you to help you throughout the lesson. These lessons are always guided and shaped by your questions, and if you're live with us today, there's a couple different ways you can do that. One is in the public live chat, and the other is the Ask Jamin a Question button, where you can ask me a question privately, and I won't share your identity in case you're afraid that your question is stupid. But it's not. If you're in the archives, though, then just open up the survey at the end of that. There's a place where you can ask your question. I will say I frequently get questions from students in the archives watching a lesson from six months ago, and I have no idea what they're talking about. So please try to be as specific as possible. If you're watching this at LearnPianoLive.com, there should be a PDF and an MP3 button right next to this video. The PDF will often have additional video links inside so you can get more in-depth instruction on each of the topics. And if you're the kind of person who likes to print out the PDF so you can make the same notes on your physical version as I'm making during a lesson, now would be the time to do that. The MP3 is just a play-along track so you can practice more after the lesson. In traditional lessons, a teacher is going to actually present some new concept for maybe five or ten minutes every couple weeks. The rest of the time is going to be spent applying and refining those concepts. Well, here I'm spouting off hours of new information every week, so it's totally unreasonable to expect you to actually absorb all of that. Instead, the goal of these live lessons is for you to find some little nugget of something that makes sense, but is a bit of a challenge and for you to go practice it because practice is where all the improvement's gonna happen. So don't feel bad if you have to leave the live lesson and you find that little thing that you're gonna practice. And of course, if I'm going too fast, you can always rewind the live lessons or replay in the archives as much as you want. If these live lessons start feeling random or meandering, it's because they are on purpose. So if you're the kind of person who wants classical training with a step-by-step -step method, then you're going to want to check out Koppel Academy on the website. It's included in your live lesson subscription, so you can do both or either. And the upper levels are seriously hard work, but it's going to take you all the way from ground zero all the way up to being ready to enter any major music college as a piano major in classical or jazz. And finally, it's most people's favorite. This is application where we take the past concepts from other live lessons and we see how they apply to an actual real song that already exists. And since there's like a thousand different ways to play any song, you're just going to work on the version that is appropriate for your level. So that might just mean playing one minute at a time for right now. Or maybe you're working on chords or covering the full song. Or maybe you're just seeing how the song breaks down so you can better write and transcribe your own songs in the future. But whatever your level is, the goal is not not this song. So even if you don't play the whole entire song, you'll get better by even attempting a little bit of it and attempt it we shall. Today, we're doing the song Monin. We've got a lot to talk about that is not just the song, but um, forms, blues, alterations to the blues, blowing changes, all kinds of crazy stuff that I want to talk about through Monin. So we'll get to that in just a second. But first, welcome back to LearnPianoLive.com. My name is Jamin, and this is the incomparable Kendra. Guess what, Jamin? I have been using um, Duolingo 
a lot. During the lesson, I'm aware. No, not during the <laughs> lesson. Well, Just on my on my own time, okay. um, in the bits of spare time. Uh, yes. But yes, uh, I've been trying out Japanese. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And based on my track record, not sure I'll ever hit fluency, but yeah. I'm having a lot of fun. Okay. So, you know. Cool. Yeah, and you're doing a lot of um, uh, like anime songs, and you're kind of in the the Japanese world. Yeah, right now, so yeah. As much totally. as you can be in a suburb totally. of Sacramento, California. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, really. Nice. Well, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. All right, let's jump into this. Um, we're still gonna treat level one, the beginner level, just like we do the beginner level every time. So I'm gonna go through this. We don't have the funky lyrics in there and stuff like we usually do because of what we're, what we're gonna be doing on the intermediate and the advanced level. But I will show you all of the notes. Um, and this is kind of a cool song, even if you don't care much about the song because there's all kinds of really cool licks in here that if you just like steal a little tiny part of it, you can definitely reuse that in uh, all kinds of other songs. And anytime you wanna play something kind of kind of bluesy, this, this guy, that guy right there kind of helps. And also that thing. These combinations of notes are, are pretty cool. So let me show you this. As you could probably hear, it's pretty repetitive. It's an A-A-B-A -A -A format. So we're going to play a section, play the exact same section again. Then we're going to play something different. And then we're going to play the, the beginning section again. So three out of the four sections are the same exact thing. All right, we've talked a lot. Let's play some notes. At the beginning here, you don't have to be able to read any of this. Um, if you download the PDF, so if you're live with us right now, there's no PDF yet to download because I want to uh, show you what this is. If you're in the archives, then uh, probably what you're looking at doesn't make a whole lot of sense because there's multiple versions of the same song. Um, the letters are not written in yet for you. I'm going to play through these uh, for you in the live lesson here, and uh, we'll get through. We'll get through this, and it's going to feel slightly different because we're doing different stuff with the song. Two Fs. The F is just the note that's right below a group of three black notes. So uh, pick any group of three black notes. The one just to the left of it will be an F, and you can play, pick any F that you want. That one or that one or that one or any of the Fs. I'm going to play that one right there. Two of those. Then we're going to go up to this note right here, which is called A flat. It's the note that's in between G and A. So it's slightly lower than A, so we call it A flat. So we're going to play that, and then up to the A flat, and then right back to the um, F. Just like that. And then we've got three more notes left. These uh, all together, these four notes are going to be really important. We're going to skip down to a C, which means skipping over two white notes, and then up to E flat, which is this note right here. So the four notes that are important are those four right there. We're going to start on the F, go up to two A flats, go down to F, go down to C, up to E flat, and then F. That's a good chunk of the song right there. Just. Go ahead and try that on your own. Um, even if you haven't read any of the notes here, that's perfectly fine. Just try playing that thing. By the way, the uh, the song that we're playing is this song right here. If I play a, even a second of it, then uh, YouTube will instantly stop my stream. So uh, go check out Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers, Monin, the song which is also the uh, title track of the album by the same name, I believe. Um, F, F, A flat, A flat, F, C, E flat, F. Now, later on, I'm going to go through this thing right here. If you want to, though, you can just have this. Uh, so you're going to play uh, B flat, D, F, all three of those, and then A, C, F. So the F stays the same for both of those. Normally, I don't get into that in the beginner level, but it shows up so many times in this song. Um, you'll notice that is not written in at all here on the version that we're currently looking at, um, because that's kind of like what the, the band would do. It's like a call and response thing. So the call is... And then the rest of the band's supposed to play. And then the the soloist comes back. And then the band comes back in. So it's kind of like a back and forth thing, but if you're on the piano playing solo piano, yeah, there is no band. You are the band. So we have that. Uh, in the left hand, I'm just playing F twice in a row. So I actually, Kendra, if you would zoom out for me. Um, so you can see, we have this to that. And in the left hand, we've got this to this. Or this to this, but F is going to be the lowest note. Or. Cool. Uh, the next thing. It's going to feel like we're going to go back to that thing, but instead of going down, this time we're going to go up and use a bunch of the notes up here. So. 
We're going up to that A flat, B flat, right here. We're just going to kind of touch on the B and come back down through the B flat, the A flat, and the F. And I play two of the Fs there by habit. The one that's written here only has one F. You can do whatever you want there. Just like that. And then the band comes back in. Now, here's the, hmm, yeah, the last one. Uh, we're gonna, this time, instead of going up kind of high, we're gonna go up really high. So the first one stays down low. Next one kind of stays in the middle. And the third one's gonna go way up high. And this is not written in, it's just, but I'm gonna just kind of slide into that C right there with that B next to it, you don't have to. And then we're gonna come back down through here. You can play the C, then the B, B flat, A flat, just like we did a second ago. Or you can just go straight to that B. Any of those works. And then we're gonna play the first thing that we played. And that's it. So. the first one second one's gonna go kind of in the middle area third one's gonna go way up high then the first one again now we're supposed to get into this more later but I will just point out these double dots right here always mean you're gonna go back to the other double dots that you find and repeat that section so we're supposed to go back to here and play that whole chunk again. So that's like a little portal right there to the almost the beginning of the song. So we gotta do all of that again. So we already did the A section. Now we're gonna do the A section again, and then we're gonna go to the B section. So uh, play all of that twice, and then we're into the B section. So the B section is gonna go F, F, C, and then right here, we got some more options. This is kind of a tricky song. A little preview of what we're gonna be doing in the intermediate level is we got just got so many options. You could play, or the thing that's written here is that thing. You already know that. That's like one of those phrases you should definitely steal for the, the blues improvisation you do. Or then B flat, then F, a flat so it's kind of like a teeter-totter in my ear and my mind so and Kendra do you have a, a question yes um are you going to talk about the grace notes in the song yeah <laughs> absolutely. Awesome. okay cool so the grace note uh, that is the technical term for uh, this thing right here so um, yeah Yes, let's get into all of the grace notes in the, um, the intermediate level. For right now, I just want to make this as simple as possible with kind of the preview of like, these notes aren't entirely right and nobody knows what the right notes entirely are. So that's kind of the, the idea. But anyway, so a lot of people are like, but what are the right notes? What should I play? What would you play? I play something different every time. Uh, so uh, we're in the B section. Got that thing right there. And then that thing. So it's going to go B. B flat, A flat. There you go. And then these notes you've already seen before. So F, E flat, C, E flat, F. And then the band right there is gonna go. So same exact thing you played before, basically, but it's gonna, instead of landing on this one, it's gonna land on that one. And then same thing. And then we're almost done. I promise. If you can if you can get up to that far, all we have to do is That's it. So, these three notes right here. So, we go right here. F A flat F A flat C. Um that is <laughs> Come on, Jamin. Um There we go. Yep, that is right in here. That was that section right there. F A flat, F A flat, C, and then 
E flat C, B flat C. That's it. That's the whole song. That's all of it. We just got to go back and do the A section again, but you already know the A section, or at least we already covered the A section, so once you practice the A section, you already have that. That's it. That's the whole song. That's all the parts. I'm going to say, uh, let me know what questions you have about that. The things that we do uh, that have to do with like the parts of this song and the way that we're going to alter this song are really the more important uh, parts of the lesson. But if you are just showing up because you want to learn how to play one more song, then you just learned how to play the melody for Monin. That's the end of the beginner's level, which means it's time for the feature of the day. Oh, yeah. That's right, Jamin, and today's progression of the day is the blues. The blues, yep. Okay, so let's talk about the blues. <laughs> the F blues, because um, uh, that's the the backing track that you're going to want to use for a lot of this. For a lot of this is based on blues types of phrases. Um, so the blues is going to be uh, basically just uh, the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. In the key of F, that means that we're going to play this thing right here, the F. B flat is going to be this, B flat, D, and F. And then the five is going to be uh, the C chord, the C, E, and G. So the one, the four, and the five. If you just practice those three, that thing, that thing, that thing. And then go to learnpianolive.com slash 12 bar blues. All typed, all uh, spelled out except for the, the 12. Um, so it's the number 12 and then Bar Blues. Um, then right here, this is going to be um, all the stuff that you would possibly want to know about the blues. And now, if you play the uh, the Monin song along with Art Blakey right here um, that I'm not allowed to play, um, then you'll be able to jump into here and you'll already have a whole bunch of like licks and stuff that you can use over the F blues so go check that one out if you like this song you will like the blues stuff if you don't like this song you know move on to a different lesson don't waste any more time here but um we're not gonna waste any more time here on the beginners level right now let's go to the intermediate so sadly the lesson preview has come to an end and it's time to say goodbye to everyone watching the free streams of course paying subscribers at learnpianolive.com can continue watching this lesson and several hundred others like it in the archives so come on over and check us out. And if you like what you saw, at least like and subscribe and then tell your friends to head on over to LearnPianoLive.com to start enjoying this journey with us.